All right, so I'm going to walk you through doing an emergency surgical airway using the quick trach here. So what I want you to do is take the whole quick trach unit out and disconnect the strap from the quick trach. Okay, now I want you to take that strap and straighten out, uh, unconnect the Velcro and push it underneath behind the patient's neck with the, the prickly Velcro side down. So it should be underneath the patient's neck side to side. Good, with the Velcro down. Good. Uh, okay. As long as it's in the center, it's fine. Okay. All right, you can let go of it. Just leave it laying right there. Good. Now you're going to take your let's see, you're going to take your left hand, and I want you to put it right in the space on the neck, right be where the collarbones come together. And the, you can see it's just right at the very bottom of the neck. Just put your finger, your pointer finger right there. Now I want you to slide up slowly in the middle. You're gonna feel a bump and then sort of a soft spot and then a big bump. You feel that? Mm -hmm. Go back to the soft spot. Good, now you're gonna put your, your index finger and your thumb on either side of that soft spot and hold it nice and still. Use it nope, with, your, with your left hand but turn your hand the other way. There you go, perfect. Now you're gonna take the quick trach and lift it up. And with the curve pointed towards the patient's feet, you're gonna enter the skin right in that soft spot at about 90 degrees and advance about two or three millimeters till it's in the skin. Feel it pop through. Good. Now, mm -hmm. with your with your left hand, you're going to take the syringe and slowly aspirate. With your right hand, you're going to tilt the whole thing. Don't don't aspirate too much yet. You're going to aspirate as you advance. Go ahead and push that syringe plunger back down. Okay. You're going to tilt the whole thing 45 degrees up towards the patient's head. The syringe and everything. Tilt it towards the patient's head. Good. And now you're going to slowly advance it until the stopper hits the skin. At the same time, aspirate. So use your right hand to push the whole thing in through the skin until the stopper reaches the skin. Tell me when the stopper is on the skin. It's not going through. Okay, tilt it up straight up and down a little bit more. And push it through so it's in the skin. Good, is it in? Mm -hmm. Yes. There you go. Now tilt it again 45 degrees towards the patient's head and advance it until the stopper's at the skin level. Is the stopper okay. at the skin now? Yes. Okay, go ahead and remove the stopper. Go ahead and aspirate, make sure you get air back. Okay, good. Now remove the stopper. Don't push it down. Just remove the stopper. Good. And now you're going to, you can put that down. You're going to push the, the plastic airway off of the metal stylet. So you're going to just push that all the way down onto the skin. And you're going to pull the stylet out as you do that. So hold on to the airway with your right hand and using your left hand, just pull the syringe back so the stylet comes out. Good, put that somewhere safe, don't poke yourself. Okay, good. Now, take the airway adapter, that corrugated tube, and attach it to the airway, big end down. Good, push it on nice and snug. Hold on tight there. Now, use your left hand to hold it tight. With your right hand, pick up the bag valve mask. 
and hook that up to the other end. Nope, the uh, other connector, there you go, perfect. Good, hold that all in place and I want you to gently squeeze the bag valve mask with your right hand. Good, put your, put your left hand back down on the airway, good. Now squeeze gently. Okay, excellent. All right, now take off the bag valve mask. Just pop it right off. Good. And now pull the strap up, the securing strap up behind the head and put it through those little wings on the airway. Don't let go of the airway. Keep one hand on the airway at all times. So we'll just pull up on one side, put it, th put it through that tiny little wing there and Velcro it to itself and then do it the same on the other side. What's the wing? You see on the side of the airway, there's a little thing with an arrow on it. That's a little mm -hmm. plastic wing. That right mm -hmm. there, good. Put it through there and secure. You don't pull it very far because there's not, this guy's got a relatively big neck for this strap. Probably have to stretch it a little bit. It's a good pull. There you go. All right, so that's nice and tight there, secured. Oh, the side has come undone. Okay, pull it back up. No problem. Just troubleshoot that and pull it right around. Okay, if you're struggling with it, if you can't get it here, take a little break. You're gonna do some bag valve mass ventilation. Yeah. Looks like you got it. Good, go ahead and hook up the bag valve mask and ventilate the patient. Good. And at this point, you would listen to the lungs on both sides and we would be done with a, with a stethoscope. Well done.